Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the 2020-21 spring forecast with you. That there is going to be a ton of weather here to deal with. As severe storms, not only in tornadoes, also pop up during this time of year. And this is when tornadoes are the worst. Under these, and these are, and again, best conditions for tornadoes. And then, this is where snow begins to depart the area. As the warmer area become, surges north because of sun and jet stream. Before we get started, I want to make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now we're going to start off by looking at the temperature forecast for spring 2021. <clears throat> we expect mild temperatures for a large portion of the country, specifically southern U.S., the west coast, and then north east, mid-Atlantic, and yeah, Gulf Coast, obviously, but the best chances of above normal temperatures is well above normal possible. And then we also got a small area of some slightly below average temperatures in the northwest. So large portions of the country will see mild temperatures, then only a small area will get anything below normal, like temperature wise. And everything in between that is near normal, which is like basically all large mid with mid Midwest, then the Central Plains, and then we also got the rest of the Northwest in not too far north from a normal, oh, because temperature wise. And we're about to move on to the precipitation forecast. Okay, here's the precipitation forecast for spring 2021. Now you can see that drier conditions will also take over the south along with what we already mentioned above normal temperatures. And then we also got above normal precipitation for the northern U.S., including the Midwest, Northwest and Northern Rockies, Northern Plains, Central Plains perhaps, and then the Northeast and New England region, and then the Great Lakes. All those will see above normal precipitation this year. Then areas like the southern, near the southern border of the U.S., including the Gulf Coast, Florida, Mexico border, and then the southern Pacific, the south, southern Pacific coast, specifically southern California, will all see further below normal precipitation for this year, this spring. And then near the border, Canadian border in the Great Lakes region, we got more above normal zip. Now here is the overall all spring 2021 forecast for this spring. And yes, we do obviously see that there could be severe thunderstorms, severe thunderstorm outbreaks in the central U.S. High pressure. Yes, we do. <laughs> we expect that as a, as a result of the dryness potential and heat. Heat is coming in already. I'm going to label this high pressure because that's probably when it's be like with the dominant south, south, southeastern ridge. And that will just make things, things hotter and drier and potential for drought concern. <laughs> And I'm going to go over this severe thunderstorm zone, which we do expect some severe thunderstorms in the su southern central U.S. Gulf Coast area. And then it goes all the way up to the Midwest. So we got potential for severe thunderstorm outbreaks there. And then we're going to move on to the potential early season heat wave in the southwest. We can expect that because it's been the dominant weather there lately. And specifically because 
it's a lot in the forecast lately, I guess. Now, with the heat and dryness, just like all of the southern U.S., there's going to be wildfire concerns because humidities are typically lowest here in the southwest. And then as we move on to the early season storm, there could be quite some storms in the northwest. And then these will contain valley rain and the mountain snow. If you refer to this a light blue region and in the mountains, that's what I'm saying, like mountain snow. <clears throat> now, after I explain these all, all bit for the first time, I'm going to explain a little more the second time. <clears throat> Just to make this a 10 minute video. Okay, weather battle zone. There's going to be tons of weather here in the pink zone across the middle of the country. With upper Midwest and then going throughout the plains, basically, and then the area east of the Rockies, and again, plains, and then upper Midwest. Those areas will see quite some weather, <clears throat> ranging from early season snow to late season severe weather, which again, you can refer to the red zone as it could expand further north. We got this stormy region. It's a dark green area in the, in much of the Great Lakes, throughout the Great Lakes. And then if you go further and then you could call it Midwest, which is also what uh, the area I live in, but I'm not going to say specifically where because privacy. But I might have given some hints on region-wise. So yeah, we do expect general storms in this region, but some of them could be strong, severe, as we do expect, next from especially the red and pink regions, especially later on in the season. And then the one region we are about we haven't talked about yet is rather dry and mild for the northeast. And while we do expect some um brief cool and wet periods. This season, they are rather looks to be mainly is milder and dry. So, there's not much to talk about here because, because this is like months out. We don't even know what exactly is going to happen yet, but I'm giving you a hint now of what could happen. And based on the latest CFS model run. And then I'm going to go over these, his, his regions a little more. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I'm only going to give you like several seconds of explanation for each. So if you're on this one, there's going to be episodes of heavy rain, hail, winds, and maybe some tornadoes in this region. Okay, high pressure. There could be some storms, but mostly it's just dry periods and warm periods. At least it's a heat wave. <clears throat> Almost precipitation free for the for the deserts areas, but then again, there might be rain along the coast, like at least a little bit of it. <clears throat> Early season storm. This is a potential, but we don't know what is gonna happen for sure because <clears throat> malls I looked at they're like my months out. And this is spring forecast, so you might be wrong. So we might be wrong in at least some of these region zones. <clears throat> and then we have <clears throat> mountain snow, especially early on in season or throughout the spring. There's going to be quite some mountain snow in the Rockies and then the Cascades. Weather battle zone. Winter weather early in the spring. And then we got some rain in the middle of season, mid season, the late season. We also have severe storm potential. Stormy, we there's gonna be rain and thunderstorms throughout the season, but dry periods and mild are likely throughout once in a while in the season, and then rather dry and mild. Some noise or potential, some storms 
バイバイ。